on this week's GTA 5 O'Clock. Rockstar's silence on next-gen and single-player DLC explained. We take a look at your GTA Online creations. And we have news on our Social Club crew events. It's all here on this week's GTA 5 O'Clock. Hello and welcome to this week's GTA 5 O'Clock. I'm your host James Jarvis and I'm joined as ever by Dan Dawkins. Good day. Good day to you, Dan. Uh, lots of things to go through this week, including some maps that you guys from our GTA 5 social clubs have made that we're going to get Dan to test out a bit later on. But first up, Dan, something that's troubling the community somewhat is the lack of announcements and things from Rockstar about when we're going to get new DLC or the next gen versions or anything like that. And you have got something to say on this. Well, the only thing you've got to do is join the dots with 2Ks, which is Rockstar's sort of parent company, their financial year. Now, their financial year ends on March the 31st, mm -hmm. which is in fact next Monday, right? Now, they've made a set of projections up to that point where they'll be looking to hit certain targets they've made. That is where the financial year flips, new budgets, new targets, new everything, new product slate. From that point on, we will start to see Rockstar talk but they're not going to announce anything or talk about anything too significant in the absolute dying embers of the last financial mm. year. There's literally like three or four days left. Now, speculation has mounted. We've been part of it and fueled it that, you know, Rockstar will announce a PC version. Uh, there was rumours that would be announced around Easter, which was kind of like, you know, to come out in April, announced around about now. That hasn't materialised. That can only suggest that the PC you know, and or next gen versions are being pushed slightly further back. Um, it would be a surprise to see, you know, we talked about this at the time of GTA 5 coming out with his latest, you know, from the time they start talking again properly, you can still expect a few months on from them. Yeah. So it's starting to look already like we wouldn't expect to see certainly next gen GTA 5, you know, any sooner than sort of traditional holiday period time. Yeah. Um, and PC version likely at a similar time. It all depends how they play it, whether they release a, you know, PC, PS4, uh, Xbox One all at once and I you know I would imagine that it would contain all the DLC material which is still not yet released yeah so you've got to think there is going to be a bit of a gap so I think you're looking at again late October November time if not more something to throw into the mix is that the silence does obviously increase speculation and this is not directly related to GTA but I've heard rumors about E3 and obviously there's a console war amongst other parties with PS4 and Xbox One. I have heard rumours of Sony potentially securing a major AAA game franchise, which would cause ripples. Mm. Um, I can't say what that is, but it, it would be a really significant announcement you know, if and when it happens. Now, the obvious thing for Microsoft would be to respond to that. Now, I just wonder if either of them have approached GTA or Rockstar to try and broker some sort of deal on the scale of you know the deal struck by Microsoft the last time around for yeah. the, the episodes like Lost in the Damned and the Ballad of Gay Tony. Um, you know we'll see we'll see if that's come to pass. What is true is that Rockstar certainly don't need the money. No, they've had a phenom phenomenal financial year. Um, they've got GTA Online constantly trickling through cash. They don't need it, but like any publicly listed company, their imperative is to make money in delight shareholders they're not going to turn it away were they to be offered something too lucrative to resist and given the popularity of GTA is like unequivocally the biggest game in the world certainly last year um, there's going to be that conversation held amongst platform holders so you think then all signs point to E3 for, for something possibly happening it would make sense to that would fall in line with a Christmas release of, you know if something was announced at E3 Possibly, certainly for next gen versions, it, it, you know, you, you're looking to see if that will happen really. Um, and you know, Rockstar don't themselves really show at E3. You don't expect mm. Rockstar to announce anything. It's just the equivalent of, well, like a Jack Tretton would drop it into conversation. There will be no Jack, Jack Tretton this year. Yep. Stepped aside, so that's a shame. All right. Well, moving on then to some more uh, community-based things. We've got something uh, very quick to show you, Dan. I think we've seen this before. Is grandtheftdata.com forward slash landmarks if you go on to that site and we'll put a link in the description below you can see like since the release of GTA 5 people from the community have been going around all of 
LA and the surrounding area and matching up all of the in-game buildings and locations to their real-world counterparts. Now this was happening a bit during the lead-up to the release of GTA 5 because of the screenshots and things. People were trying to map exactly where the streets would lie and what buildings would be on what street. But now there are literally hundreds of entries on this map and if you're into to GTA 5 and you want to explore it a bit more or you're going to LA and you want to go and have a look at you know, how GTA 5 was influenced by the city, this is a great map to look at. You can click on any of the dots and it will show you the in-game uh, picture and then it's real world equivalent and where exactly it is in the world it's really good it, it's utterly sensational like this has been a project in the making for quite a long time it's just growing and growing building and building um you know i don't know what to say about it apart from like it's a spectacular thing that needn't exist but i'm glad it does <laughs> yeah okay so that's just a little nice thing to throw in leading up to what uh some people may have missed from we don't do a lot of um the gta five o'clock live stuff at the moment is on hiatus it's on a series break but that doesn't mean to say we're not having a look at some of the things you guys in the community are making and i think it would be a good test for how good they are to let dan have a little go at them and just see and get an instant reaction on them so we've got some from our community here this is ones from the gta five o'clock gravels gta five o'clock shadows and the gta five o'clock crew which you can join now there is space available in all three crews on the social club get over there now if you like what you're seeing here and you want to be part of some more community events get over there and join one of our crews so dan i think first up demolition derby one of your favorite things you wanted to create uh, in the gta online universe is demolition derbies and rooftop battles and things one of the things we've run into problems with with uh, doing these events is we're doing it at a certain time, it's in the middle of the day, and it's hard to get people into these user-created events, but we're going to have a one-on-one -on -one derby nonetheless. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna rate each of these uh, custom-created yep. races with uh, the well-known scoring system of Dan's out of 10. Okay. So we'll see how many magical Dan's this can score. Yeah, I'd like instant opinion on, on exactly how it's designed. Uh, oh dear, it already looks bad. It looks, looks bad. It looks weird and bad. <laughs> interesting. Let's say it looks interesting. It looks like there's a, a, a jump straight off there. Jump down there. And it's not much of a demolition derby if you're jumping down there. Wrong way, so we go. Holy! Well, that's... It's not gone well, has it? I mean, that's... What else can I do? It's not much of a start. Whoa! It's a nice okay. landing, though. It's the start. <laughs> it's the start. It's the start of Definitely everything. an epic start. Slightly clumsy. It doesn't really feel like a race at the moment. It's it's definitely one of the more unique signature starts of any race I've been in. Do you really think the start was necessary? I thought it was quite exciting, actually. So it's short and sharp. I won, so I like it. <laughs> uh, seven Dan's out of ten. Seven Dan's out of ten. That's not bad. Okay, moving on now to the bar fight at the Unicorn. This says the crews of LS, Los Santos, need to relax, but this ain't the place to do it. So this is at um, the Unicorn Strip Club. Confident about... I mean, death matches aren't really your thing, Dan. Or are they? They're more my thing than races, James, unbelievably. The races that you just won. Yeah. And, yeah, the race I won in a field of one. <laughs> and... Uh, it's a fist fight. Now, I, I think I've come appropriately attired for a fist fight, mm -hmm. dressed like one of the members of the gangs of New York. Hopefully, the top hat will uh, cushion some blows. So, here we are in the. Oh dear. It's a very inappropriate imagery. And there is a bat. That's so... good. Oh, the betting's cancelled, so that's that's a start. At least you haven't lost any money yet. I think hiding behind curtains is probably not. You're right, you're right. It's There's a man. He's only got fists, Dan. Hit him. Oh, he's got a crowbar now. Oh, dear. What's he done to the buttons? Oh, look, there's a little challenge for you there. Run over and kill an enemy with a vehicle. I don't think that this is the time or the place to do that. No, let's concentrate on hitting. <laughs> Finding and hitting. Even the lock-on button is completely not there. I changed him. Changed him around. My initial feelings are, certainly with three people, this map's a little bit big. I think you're meant to be in the club. Managed to make the controls no better whatsoever. Really? Yep, this still... Oh, man. Amazingly on the wrong setting. This is spectacularly mishandled <laughs> once again. It's a map I can no longer enter. Go back that way. Go in the front door. You've got him now. You've got him. Definitely. 
Oh, he's, oh, he's shanked, shanked you. Shanked me immediately. So that was terrible once again. The good news is there's a minute left. There's a shank. You can get him with that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I pick it up? Why You've already I got it, it, I think. How? Okay, now we're armed. You've got 23 seconds. To do something to... apart from sit in the shed world. <laughs> world of sheds. It's like going shopping. Okay, we're in. There's a man just in front of you. You can get him. 10 seconds to go. There he is. He hasn't seen you yet, Dan. Stab him. Oh, no. Oh, no. With no lock on, this is a nonsense. You're doing it. Yeah! yeah Stabbington. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. Whack. <clears throat> yeah, third, last. Okay, so instant reaction. Well, my reaction is, what the chuff's gone on with the Ian's buttons? Why can't I lock on? Buttons are all square. If it's an embarrassment, I've once again been set up live on air. Hey, uh, this wasn't anything to do with me. Furthermore, it wasn't bad, actually. I quite enjoyed it. I mean, the setup was clearly ludicrous with the sheds, but I thought that could be quite a good level. So, uh, six downs out of ten. Six downs out of ten. I think we'll go back to a, a driving one. Maybe we'll... Should we try a, a Rockstar Verified one? And then, because yeah. that's a, a proper good one. Right, Dan, so you've chosen the Hospital Dash as our final little experiment into the GT Online content creator. This is a quick dash through the city to A&E, but can you make it to the roof? Can I? That is the question. I've never played this before. That's a bad sign. Let's see. This will be an interesting new first-hand experience on what the hospital job plays like. Oh, he's waited for you. Well, nice. this this is like <laughs> this is like your dream race, Dan. Yeah, dream race. He's waited and actually stopped. The question is, in this dashed way in E, what's the getting on the roof bit? Well, yeah, that bit is... I mean, that's the question we're going to have to answer. Is it through a multi-story, or is there a, a series of jumps and things you have to do which may worries me. cause problems. You'd think that the dash to A&E would at least be done in ambulances and fire trucks and things. Yeah, not in performance sport cars. I mean, I guess you could say that if you really did have to dash to A&E, you'd probably rather be in a fast car, but maybe not one that was so fast and dangerous that you might die. Oh, here we go. Well, you don't even see you getting on the roof. No, that's an unknowable. <laughs> so let's just say that I did make it onto the roof. Um... Yes, mm. unsure about that. I mean, it was nice the guy waited for me and let me win. That was really kind. Uh, I can't see further than six downs out of ten. Six downs out of ten. So the, the best one was the first one that we did. Yeah. Okay, fine. Well, that's the a couple of examples of the GTA Online content creator and the things that people in our crews are creating and things that Rockstar are verifying. If you do want to be part of our GTA 5 o'clock cruise you can just get on the social club and join them they are doing a gta five o'clock not live stream at the moment uh, i think it goes out on wednesdays they did one last week as an emergency services special which a lot of the crews went in and got involved in if you know psn madman he's the commissioner now in a lot of our social club crews so if you want to find out about details get in touch with him follow him on twitter he's steve stacy and you should be able to get all the updates from there they are doing a new event which takes place tonight which is the midnight club crew event there's a whole schedule of things which you can see on screen now they're meeting at vanilla unicorn with dan where you had your punch out oh uh, and then there's going to be i think they're going to do a first ever crew bounty hunter so the ones that if anyone's watched our live streams on fridays it's going to be a crew a version of that they're doing something called a wrecking ball challenge at the maze bank couple of dumper games a playlist a carpool and a prison break so they've got loads of stuff to do should be great get involved on there tonight it takes place around 7 p.m gmt fantastic uh just to let you know if you want to stay in touch with gta five o'clock lots of different ways to do so uh, follow us on twitter at gta v o'clock head to our facebook page and i'm pleased to say that we've now got the like new uh, facebook administrators in place so there should be more stuff appearing on facebook from next monday uh, that is facebook.com forward slash GTA 5 o'clock, pretty obvious. And there's also our email address, which is contact GTA V o'clock at gmail.com, where you can send us anything where you want that little personal touch. And we will do our best to reply. Uh, time, our time is finite, sadly, and this is why we wanted some people to help us out with the social club. Uh, but we will do our best, so please keep the interesting correspondence coming. There will be lots more to talk about with GTA 5 really soon. Yep, until next week then, we will see you then. Bye.